I'm Diana Felsen for Fox Lifestyle. St. Patrick's Day and Guinness go hand in hand, but today we're mixing it up with Elaine Duff, here to show us a few cocktails using the famous Irish stout. Welcome, Elaine. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me, of Diane. Of course, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you as well. So what do we have first? So uh, I want to mix up a few cocktails because, you know, on St. Patrick's Day, everybody loves their beer, right? Mm -hmm. We love it, and especially Guinness. You know, they sell 13 million glasses of Guinness every wow. single St. Patrick's Day. But not everybody wants to drink beer all day. So these are some cocktails we call the Guinness Hooli cocktails. Oh. Because Hooli is an Irish, it's Irish for party. All right. So these Let's are cocktails. Let's it up. Let's hooli it up, right? <laughs> so this is the cocktail. So you're going to have your cocktail and your beer as well. So this is going to be with the Zacapa rum and the traditional Guinness uh, drought. So we're just going to put in an ounce and a half of the delicious Zacapa rum. It's a delicious aged rum from Guatemala, right? It smells good. A little bit of orgeat. Orgeat's a little an almond syrup. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of or almond syrup in there. A little bit of lemon juice, which actually I've already measured out. So I'm going to need my jigger. So a half an ounce. And then we're going to put three quarters of an ounce of cassis. It's a black currant, so it really works well with the stout. It takes away the bitterness, but also works well with the really rich, multi flavors. Now I have everything in there. I have my ice already in there. We're going to just going to give it a little shake, just a little bit. You do that so well. <laughs> you know, just try to shake it up. You just want all the ingredients to mix together. And then I'm going to strain it over ice, a nice little highball glass. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually just going to pour a little bit of my Guinness. Oh, together. Right into the glass. What a pretty color. It almost looks Isn't like a nice? cherry Coca-Cola. Exactly. And it kind of smells like that, too. Yeah, it's sweet. And that's it. So there we have uh, parts unknown. Well, I would like to discover those parts. Okay, second one. <laughs> exactly. Second one is more traditional. So a lot of people have heard of the cocktail, the, the half and half. So this is what we're calling the black and blonde, which is actually using the new Guinness Blonde Amber. So it's a brand new, just released. So it's more of a lager. Okay. Um, so it's a lighter style beer. So to make this cocktail, it's very simple. So you're just going to take your glass, you're going to pour it in just about halfway up with the uh, Guinness Blonde. It's a nice color. It's beautiful, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. It's very ambery. It's very ambery. It's very crisp. It's a lot more, um, a lot more carbonation mm -hmm. um, than the traditional, uh, the, the malted uh, Guinness draft. And then you're just going to take your bar spoon. I'm just going to show it so you can see it on there, and you kind of pour that over. So what it does, oh. it's going to create like a nice little layered effect on top of the uh, American, the Guinness Blonde, hmm. the Guinness American Blonde lager. <laughs> so basically, the Guinness Blonde, I, what I love about it most is that it is the perfect craftsmanship between American uh, brewing uh, techniques and Guinness. So it's like the perfect Guinness. So yeah, it's a hybrid Guinness. Exactly. So a little bit of blonde, a little bit of dark, and it's going to separate as the day goes on. So that's okay. cocktail number two. So that's, you know, the perfect mix of a lager and a stout. And then the last cocktail um, is called, we like to call it the, I just had a, I'm going to steal it up at the, uh, help me out here. The Wild Oscar. The Wild Oscar. Thank you very much. The Wild Oscar. Had a little bit of, you know, maybe I had a Guinness An Oscar Wild moment. An yeah. Oscar Wild moment. So I'm just going to put a... Uh, Half an ounce. And that's uh, simple syrup? This is simple syrup, so just equal parts mm -hmm. of sugar and water. Very simple to do. You're going to put some aromatic uh, bitters in there, just a couple of dashes. So if anybody's ever had an old-fashioned, yeah. it's exactly just like that. But with Guinness. But with Guinness. So we're just gonna, right now it's exactly the same. But now we're going to add in uh, an ounce and a half of uh, bullet bourbon, which is a delicious aged whiskey. These are all really easy and something that you can easily do at home. Absolutely. So that's two things. And now what makes it the Guinness? We're going to use the extra stout. We're just going to put in one ounce. So it just has a perfect combination of whiskey, a dark amber stout, a little stir. And of course, it wouldn't be an old fashioned without some other fruit. Exactly. So now we're just going to put a traditional orange and a cherry wedge. And there you go. I have the wild Oscar. So three great cocktails to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Exactly. And you can check out all these recipes and more at foxnews.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And can I have one thing? Please drink responsibly, yeah. especially on St. Patrick's Day. Especially on St. Patrick's Day. I'm Diana Felzone. Thanks for watching. Thank you.